Hi, my name is Adam. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining us today. Today we're going to talk about how failure is an option and it really is an option. And I think you know, a lot of the times we think, ah, oh, no, it'll figure itself out. Not going to fail. Keep plugging ahead. But I want to go through three reasons why we see failure as an option in retirement if you don't properly set things up. Before we jump into the content, if you're not already subscribed to the channel and you're enjoying this video and other videos on our channel, uh, please hit subscribe below. It really does help our channel grow. Um, it takes you one second, it costs you nothing. And if you enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up. And again, if you have questions about this uh, video or any other video, leave a comment below. We do our best to try and answer as many questions as we can. We do get a lot of them as the channel's growing, uh, but we do spend quite a bit of time trying to dig into those uh, questions answer them and even create new videos based on some of your comments and questions below. So leave those below. We do appreciate it. It will all take care of itself. Have you ever heard that before? Had someone said that to you or have you said it to someone else? Um, I know I say it to my wife almost every day with dinner. It just seems to take care of itself. I don't know. I come home and dinner's ready. So maybe I'm lucky. Uh, but I always say, you know, it'll just take care of itself. And, and I actually end up saying it to my, my wife way too often about kids stuff and whatever. And, and the reality is, 99% of the time, things don't take care of themselves. Either I do it or my wife does it, right? Um, same thing with retirement, right? You may have a neighbor or a friend or a coworker that says, ah, retirement will take care of itself. I've put in 40 years of work. I've, you know, I've built up whatever I can and it'll just work out. Well, the reality is it's not going to just work out. You actually have to continue to do planning and have processes and structures in place and you actually have to work on it, okay? Retirement will not take care of itself. Let me say that again, it will not. If you just walk into retirement, assuming that the government takes care of you, that your bank will you know, draw out the right amount you know, for taxes and income and all that, you're, you're fooling yourself. It's not going to happen. So what are things that you can do to make sure that your retirement does take care of itself? And there's a few check boxes that you have to make sure you hit so that your retirement kind of flows through, it's much more efficient and it's on track and it doesn't get derailed. Cause if you try and just leave it and let it run its course, it will get derailed. It needs someone driving that ship and that is you. So how are Canadians or Americans or anyone across the world failing at retirement planning? And it really does, this is not a Canadian thing. I know we're a Canadian financial planning channel, but this is for everybody. This goes across the world. And the number one thing, there's three things, but the number one thing is budgeting, okay? And this is kind of broken into two parts, okay? Either A, you don't have a budget in retirement. Now, a lot of you have a lot of cash flow. You know, we've put financial plans together for a lot of you, and you guys have a great amount of income. In fact, a lot of you have a bigger income in retirement than you ever had working, which is crazy, but we actually see it quite often, okay? Um, in that case, you know, the budget, running a budget, seeing where your money's going, probably not as important. If you're making more in retirement than you did when you're working, you probably have pretty good habits in place. You're not going to need like a strict budget, but you need to make sure that you have a plan to know what you can spend. So, you know, it goes back more to the planning side of things. You need to put together a clear plan entering into retirement. You need to know how much you can spend, how much, how long your money will last, you know, how much taxes you're going to pay. All those things kind of create your budget, right? If you know how much money you can spend, then you can create a budget around that, okay? So there's two parts of this. Know how much you can spend, how long it'll last, how much taxes are due. Again, a lot of you will be hit with a large tax bill or an unexpected tax bill in the first one, two, three years of retirement. Because remember, you're going from one income stream to multiple income streams. The withholding tax just doesn't pay the proper tax bill most of the time and you hit March, April, and your accountant phones you and says, okay, Johnny, you owe $9,000 in tax. And you had no idea. Now, again, it's okay to pay 9,000 in tax if you had a plan, okay? So again, create the plan, have a budget around that plan. Follow that through retirement, okay? Know what you can spend, review it. Retirement is an ongoing process, and the review of your accounts, of your plan, of your spending, of your budget, needs to be reviewed ongoing, okay? It will not take care of itself, this is something that you need to follow, okay? You probably followed a budget leading to retirement. The same holds true as you walk through retirement. You need to know what you're spending, where it's going, how much tax you're paying, how much money you have left. You know, can it last you? Know, maybe you ran a projection five years ago. Maybe you need it updated. Things have changed. Maybe you haven't got the rate of return on your investment. Maybe you spent too much. Maybe you bought the diesel pusher versus the gas motorhome. There's many things that could happen, but you need to review it and make sure you continue driving that ship going forward. 
The second failure in retirement, and we see this all the time, is fractured advice. And again, there's many different avenues of fractured advice. It could be a neighbor. Yeah, a neighbor told you about a great stock and you put a little too much money in there, maybe too close to retirement or in retirement, you lost it, the stock didn't work out as proper. That's fractured advice, okay? It could be a family member, a coworker, someone close to you. A lot of people that, you know, think they know what they're doing will always give advice to their neighbors and friends and family, but it doesn't always work out properly. So be aware of who you're getting advice from. The other side of fractured advice is maybe you've had a financial planner, an investment advisor, an accountant, someone in your life that's helped you with finances in the past that hasn't gone well or isn't going well and you don't quite realize it. Maybe, you know, they've given you bad financial advice along the way. Maybe they've told you to, you know, we had we did a video on this uh, earlier this summer where we had a client go to their bank and their, their, their financial planner at the bank told them, no, no, you know, you're 60 years old, you'll take CPP, delay RRSP. And I did a full video on this, I did a full financial breakdown, and the reality is it should have been opposite, okay? And it added tens of thousands of dollars back into this person's pocket. That's fractured advice, right? And yes, that's coming from an institution that you should be able to trust. So who do you trust? How do you get good advice? Get multiple opinions. That's always a good option, right? Talk to a few different people and get, you know, kind of the, the stream of most resistance as far as you know, where it's going. If you hear something, yeah, this works from three or four different people, maybe that's, you know, okay, we can trust that. Um, hire a CFP, a certified financial planner has a fiduciary to do the best thing for you, okay? Get an independent CFP, someone that's not attached to product and that kind of stuff. They're gonna put a plan together. We do that, there's other firms across Canada that have certified financial planners in their office. Um, they're not attached to product or services. They just do fee-for-service planning, okay? There, there's a few of us across Canada. You're going to get trustworthy advice because it's not attached to anything in the background, okay? Um, so that's one thing. Fractured advice could also come from your spouse, okay? But often, whoever is running the finances in the house, there's maybe too much trust from the other person, okay? So make sure if you're that spouse or common law partner in your relationship and, and the other person's running the finances, it might be time to just get a professional opinion over all your finances. Just, it might be confirmation. And we actually put a lot of plans together for people. And it's just the husband or the wife calls, whoever's running the finances and says, look, I think I'm on track, we just need confirmation. Again, your fractured advice could be coming from the person that you love, and it's it, it's not on purpose, it just is it's happening. It may be happening for many years. So make sure things are on track that way as well. So to fix your fractured advice, get, get a trusting team around you, whether it's a financial planner, investment person, accountant, lawyer, whoever it is, make sure you have a team around you that you trust um, that you can lean on, you can ask questions to, and they can answer the hard, you know, the hard questions as far as what you need to do, kind of leading up through and into retirement. So the third reason why people fail in retirement is they have no accountability. Okay, and this can come in many forms. And again, we've done videos on this and how important it is to have accountability, whether it's around your retirement plan, your personal goals. Look, if you're looking to lose five, 10, 15 pounds, usually you're going to have an accountability partner to help you. You're gonna tell someone, you're gonna hire a trainer. There's gonna be someone in your life that really pushes you to lose that weight. Maybe it's eating properly, right? Um, you, you might work with your spouse on that, right? Let's buy better food, let's eat better. There, there's teamwork there. There's someone there holding you accountable, supporting you, encouraging you along the way. The same has to happen in retirement, okay? You have to have an accountability partner. Again, this could be a multitude of people, but make sure it's someone you trust. Going back to number two, fractured advice. Make sure you're not getting your accountability from someone that's gonna give you fractured advice, okay? So do your due diligence there. But as far as accountability, have someone that can hold you accountable, whether it's your spouse, a neighbor, a coworker, a friend, or ideally a financial planner. Okay, so uh, you know I'm a certified financial planner. I've gone through many years of you know school and training and education and continued education experience. I've seen the ins and outs of many different scenarios. Um, you know, having someone like myself or any financial planner that's gone through that on your team is a huge value add. Okay, uh, Vanguard actually did a study a few years ago, and we'll put the, the link below to their article. But uh, Vanguard did a study, and they said. An advisor adds about 3% of overall return to your portfolio, okay? Now, obviously, that's not through stock performance. I can't make your, you know, your stock portfolio go up in value. 
It's just having accountability around what you're doing to plan. So it's both the planning piece, so tax planning, income planning, that, but also, you know, we had some clients, you know, it's March, April, 2020 hit, they're phoning us saying, should I sell? Should I hold on? You know, how does this you know, affect my plan? So someone to kind of call, lean on and not make that bad decision, okay? A lot of you watching this video, you've made that bad decision, whether you've invested in the wrong stock, you sold you know, in March, 2020 at the low because you panicked, you didn't have someone to lean on. Uh, a lot of you have fallen into this trap because you don't have someone to lean on, okay? Find that accountability partner, you know, get that bump in overall return, whether it's an advisor like myself or just someone close to you, someone that you can trust. Have somebody to hold you accountable. I promise you, you'll see huge rewards from it. Uh, again, you know, having, you know, even a neighbor that you can kind of talk to and bounce things off of, someone that you really can trust, uh, someone that can give you proper, clear advice, um, it's gonna really help you. Now, make sure you don't get caught in the bubble, right? If your neighbor has the same views as you, and as soon as March 2020 hit, you're both selling, again, that's, that's fractured advice. You need a good accountability partner. So, you know, do some digging, give some thought about that. It could be your spouse, it could be someone close to you or financial planner, accountant, whatever. Somebody around you that can really give that true, honest, you know, you can lean into them when the times are tough. So after hearing these three things, if you feel like you're on the track to failure in retirement, which a lot of you are, I hate to say it, but that's why we do these videos, right? A lot of you have not followed these and are not following these three steps. You need to have a plan and budget around that plan, okay? You need to get clear advice, not fractured advice like so many of you are getting or have gotten in the past and you need to have a good accountability partner. Most of you have no accountability partner. Some of you have a bad accountability partner. Very few of you have a really good accountability partner. A lot of you that watch our YouTube videos are DIY investors, which is great, right? There, there, I have no problem with the DIY investor. The problem is when you take on the investments yourself, you're separating yourself I, potentially from a professional on the other end that could do financial planning for you, okay? So be aware of that. If you're doing your own investing, you need to still hire that financial planner. It's like you still need to hire an accountant to do your taxes if it gets complicated. When you enter retirement, you could think you have a simple situation, but it can be quite complicated. The tax structure, the income structure, estate planning, all of that, it, it can get quite complicated. So if you feel like you're on track for failure, if you feel like, man, retirement just seems like it's a, it's a cloud I don't want to touch. Um, reach out to our office or find a financial planner in your area. You can learn more about our services that we offer um, at www.parallelwealth.com slash FFS, so fee for service. All of the information around our planning on is on that website. Um, you can learn more what we do, the cost of it, the structure. And if you want to uh, contact me more, there's a booking link on there to find out more. So anyway, I hope that helps. We just want to make sure you guys watching this video um, have a clear plan. This is not about us pushing our services. Um, we know a lot of you need our services because I do about 15 calls a week with you guys. And it's great. We love working with you guys. But if it's not our firm, just make sure it's somebody that's helping you. We don't want you to enter retirement um, and, and fail. That, that, that would be the worst thing. And that's why we create these videos. So you know, reach out to a financial planner uh, somewhere, get some help, get your retirement on path so that there's not failure down the road.